CWI prep course, weld reinforcement gauge, module 10, part 3. In this module, we're going to cover weld reinforcement gauges and how to use them, what they look like. Weld reinforcement gauges. These are used on groove welds. You can see the weld reinforcement gauge on the left is a specific size and it's a 1 8 inch. So for multiple sizes of welds, you'd need a whole stack of these. 8 or 10 different sizes to give you the whole range of groove weld reinforcement sizes that you could possibly have. And on the right, you've got a variable size. So you just set it for the size that you want and you go from there. So it can be any number of sizes. But they both give you the same number. It's just instead of having 20 pieces of little, little pieces of metal to carry around, like the materials on the, the measurement materials on the left, on the right, you've got one piece of measuring equipment that can do the job of multiple on the left. Gives you the same numbers, it's just maybe a little more convenient to have one piece of measuring equipment you're toting around as opposed to 10 or 12. Same numbers though. Here's another slide showing the weld reinforcement gauge and we're going to measure the reinforcement of a weld. That's our mission. So you can, this is a rehash, that's what reinforcement is on a groove weld. It's just the amount of um, excessive filter material that protrudes above the surface of the base metal of the original surface. So we're going to measure that. That's our mission. So on this one, what you do is you set the pointer. That's that middle thing. You undo a set screw and you set the pointer so that it's at the height that you are checking, the height that you're measuring. So in this case, we'll just throw out a magic number, 3 16 of an inch. You undo the set screw, you slide it up, tighten it in so that the pointer is set at 3 16 of an inch, and you're good to go. Ready to start measuring reinforcement on groove welds. So you get out there and you start measuring your reinforcement, your Groove weld reinforcement gauge is set at 3 16 of an inch. You're running it along a groove weld and you find that the pointer is hitting the material. Uh, the reinforcement on the groove weld, that tells you you have excessive reinforcement on that groove weld. Somebody's going to need to get out a grinder and hack that material out of there. Somebody's going to need to remove that material so that you don't have excessive reinforcement. Once again, we've got our pointer set at 3 16 of an inch, and you're going along your groove weld, and nothing's hitting. The pointer is not hitting the groove weld, and you've got reinforcement that's above the surface of the base metal. So you've got some reinforcement, and it's sufficient, but it is not excessive reinforcement. Things are good in this situation. Underfill, lack of reinforcement. Let's say we're out there and we're looking at the weld and we notice that there's not enough material to even reach up to the um, surface of the base metal. So we're going to call this underfill, which is lack of reinforcement. And we're going to tell them that they need to, we're going to let the welder know, hey, you got to put some more filler metal in here. You didn't even meet the base requirements. You didn't even bring this weld up to the level of the base material. So you're going to have to put some more metal in there. These are the three or these are the three of the conditions that can happen in regards to groove weld reinforcement, but it gives you an idea of the kind of tool that you would use to check for reinforcement or excessive reinforcement. When we have excessive reinforcement, we we don't want too much reinforcement because then it can lead to stress risers at the toe of the weld and we don't want that. So that's why we're concerned with reinforcement. Or you can have a situation like this where there isn't enough, there's no reinforcement and they haven't even um, met the baseline criteria for the weld. So here we are, 
where we need to add more filler material to this weld. Summary. In this module we touched base on weld reinforcement gauges, how they're utilized and how to read them.